More fun stuff coming out about Hunter Biden's laptop. I know, everybody's shocked, right? You guys shocked too? Yeah, no, exactly. This is just fucking scandalous stuff. Biden wrote a college recommendation letter for son of Hunter Biden's Chinese business partner in 2017. You can't make this fucking stuff up, okay? Why aren't there charges? Why aren't there indictments coming out from this laptop that's being read into Congress? Oh, right, because Democrats are corrupt as a motherfucker and it's all about party instead of large justice or even the american way at this point it's all about my party's in power we won't do anything to affect the party cool great emails resurface one day one fucking day well uh, actually this would be two days because i think that's um whatever regardless regardless this article's a day old um after saki insisted joe never spoke to his son about his foreign deals huh really okay so he wrote a letter of recommendation to what just some random random chinaman like the, what are we doing here president joe biden wrote a college recommendation letter to the son oh uh, for his son hunter's uh, chinese business party or partner sorry um any of his party friends probably aren't smart enough to get into college or couldn't stay um, sober long enough to attend uh in 2017 it had been claimed uh, the president's letter for the son of jonathan lee ceo of chinese investment firm bhr uh was sent directly to the president of brown university through fedex according to a chain of emails that have resurfaced <gasps> terrific wonderful Biden has consistently denied having cons or conversations with his son Hunter about his business ventures. Well, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki has recently, as Tuesday, denying the pair held any s such discussions. Huh. Really? No, maybe uh, Uncle Joe was just feeling extra gregarious that day and it's just like, Hey, son, you know any smart people who you should probably send to college so you can get, I don't know, maybe by proxy figure some shit out? They like some letter? What's that other kid that you always are hanging around? Okay, what what happened to that old Lee kid? Does he does he need a recommend? I know some I know some brown people. I work for one. A string of emails were sent between Lee and Hunter Biden's business associates involved in his own firm, Rosemont Seneca, and specifically its joint venture with Chinese business firms BHR and Bohani Capital. Or Bohai, sorry, there's no N there. Those jokes write themselves. While Hunter himself did not send an email in the chain, he was copied into the message. All right, obviously. Cool, let's take a look at the um, emails themselves. Jonathan, Hunter asked me to send you a copy of the recommendation letter uh, that he asked his father to write on behalf of Christopher for Brown University. The original is being FedEx to Dr. Paxson directly at Brown. It should be there Tuesday at latest, given Monday is a holiday here in the United States. Let us know if you have any questions. Best, Eric. Eric is who exactly? Well, whatever. Um... Gentlemen, please find the attached resume of my son, Chris Lee. You don't, you need to address it to him and not my daughter, Chun. Uh, he is applying for the following colleges this year. Uh, just a short list. Okay, Brown University, Cornell University, and New York University. I just, uh, you know, I just a couple of local schools that he'd like to apply to. Please, can you provide some advice for his applications? Many thanks and happy new year. Bong, Jonathan. Hi, Eric. Uh, just see the email. It is just great. Thank you very much. And Hunter, thank you very much too. All the best to you all, Jonathan. Well formatted, or well formatted, my dude. Apparently that's Eric Schwerwin. Is that a liaison at uh, Rosemont Seneca? Must be. Sherwin adds uh, that a copy of the original letter is being FedEx to, yes, Dr. Paxson. Dr. Christina Paxson has been Brown's university president since 2012. So she was well situated in her presidency for five years at that point jonathan lee replied the following day uh, february 19th 2017 thanking schwerwin and hunter profusely for organizing the letter hi eric yeah when well, we just read through that one the recommendation letter uh being discussed in the email that was purportedly sent by joe biden to dr paxson was oh has not been seen yeah she'd have that she'd have that but you'd be able to i guess maybe track it down. that'd be some real investigative journalism by just tracking packages that would be sent from um the vice president's office to uh, brown university that would be some impressive work that could be done but hey don't worry nothing to see here uh joe joe was just doing this out of the goodness of his heart okay uh there was uh, no 
no connections between any Chinese business dealings and anything that Hunter was doing on the side, okay? This was just a nice kid who had a good relationship with good old Uncle Joe, and he just was making sure that somebody could make the most out of their history, and there's nothing else fucked up that could ever possibly be found on this laptop or on any of Hunter's other hard drives as well. I know I'm obviously setting everybody up for something. Uh, the whistleblower who handed Hunter's abandoned laptop to Congressman and Daily Mail reveals he has 450 gigabytes of deleted material, which using compression and all that other kind of fun stuff, that could be a lot because 450 gigabytes, yep, half a, not quite half a terabyte, but you know, that's pretty fucking close. But it's also including 80,000 images and videos. <sighs> Knowing what's on Hunter's laptop, I would be a little bit concerned, mostly for this guy catching a ch uh, CP fucking beef, but uh, if he has 80,000 images and videos, uh, good thing he fled to Switzerland fearing retaliation from the White House. Yeah, and certain laws, not because he did anything wrong, it's just because we've seen or at least heard allegations as to what's on that laptop. All right. So the source who distributed Hunter Biden's laptop to congressmen and media has fled the United States to Switzerland. It's really nice here. The chocolate's good and so are the pocket watches. Uh, saying he fears retaliation from Biden's administration. Why would you think that? It's not like anybody else who found any incriminating evidence from any other random members of the Biden family. Like say, oh, a uh, daughter. Uh, with a diary. It's not like the Biden administration has used, like, say, the FBI to maybe, I don't know, perform an illegal search and seizure on a journalist's um, premises. It's not like they've been known to do that or anything. Jack Maxey gave Daily Mail a copy of the hard drive from Hunter Biden's abandoned laptop in spring of 2021. He also gave copies and materials from it to the Washington Post, New York Times, and Senator Chuck Your Asses Grassley in his role as a ranking Senate a Republican on the Senate Judiciary Committee, but he claims they all sat on it for months. Yeah, no, uh, except for the Post. The, the Oh, not Washington... I thought that was New York Post, sorry. Lysdexia. But yeah, no, um, Washington Post and New York Times didn't come forward with this stuff until, like, what, a month ago at this point? Anyways, for the past two weeks, Maxi has been hiding in Zurich, uh, working with IT experts to dig out more data from the laptop from hell. Maxi, a former co-host of ex-Donald Trump advisor Steve Bannon's podcast, The Vor Room. Oh, okay, cool. So I guess people probably know him. Um... Claims he and his colleagues have found 450 gigabytes of deleted material. It depends on how much you can recover from that, how long it's been deleted, and how it's been corrupted. All that stuff, I don't know a whole hell of a lot about data recovery and encryption when it comes to that stuff. All I know is that compression happens when you do some deletion. That's why there's remnants of materials that remain on a computer and a hard drive after the fact. But anyways, back to this. Uh, 450 gigabytes, including 80,000 images and more than 120,000 archived emails. That seems like a lot. And considering the batch that we've seen so far, imagine what's in the deleted amount. I'm sure there's a lot of drafts and a lot of start stutters and a whole bunch of uh, placements for Coke orders, but no, it's not, well, crack, no, crack and Parmesan cheese orders, something like that. Uh, he said he intends to post them all online in a searchable database in the coming weeks. Oh boy, um, Jack Maxey did not kill himself. See, that's one of the more tame pictures that are out there. Or Hunter sleeping with a crack pipe or Hunter at the dentist, or Hunter naked surfing the internet, I guess. I don't know. But remember, guys, the long and short of this is Hunter Biden's story is Russian disinformation. Dozens of former Intel officials say, according to Politico, I, they might have wrote something different only, only if they would have got a copy of all this stuff. Anyways, Hunter abandoned his laptop. Delaware, yeah, we know all of that stuff. I came here so that I could do a forensic examination on Hunter's laptop and uh, safely in a country that still respects human liberty and the ideals of a liberal a democratic principles. That is regrettably a based statement. I do not believe this would have been possible inside the United States. Yeah, no, you'd be dead by now. Uh, we had numerous attempts on us uh, from trying to do things like this here. Maxie said that after contacting the Daily Mail about the laptop last year, black suburban U SUVs appeared outside his house. Okay there, Mr. Paranoid. And former U.S. intelligence... Uh, 
or officer friends he shared copies with told him they received strange calls. Yeah, just trying to fulfill old back orders. Like, what are you, what are you talking about here? Or somebody just looking to file trade with you, okay? Like, hey, I heard you got the laptop and it's been a while. What do you got? What do you need? I showed this to a friend of mine in desperation in February of 2021 because nobody would listen to me. No news organizations would take it. In fact, the very first uh, major news organization to take it was, in fact, the Daily Mail. Very dear friends of mine with sharp tip of the spear uh, were making welfare calls to check on me every day, basically to see if I was still alive. Oh my god, be less of a drama queen here, dude, and I take you a little bit more seriously. Uh, Maxi claimed one former intelligence agency senior staffer told him soon after he received the hard drive in 2020, if you don't release enough of this so that uh, they know you can't release all of it, I'm telling you, brother, you're a dead man, brother, brother, brother. Maxi to uh, took their advice in October of 2020 and posted batches of emails and other files from the laptop on file sharing sites. Yeah, a lot of people have actually been combing that through and uh if the videos are still up on the internet uh, like i said a lot of people were combing through it and posting the findings on places like parlor at the time i seen that as well and twitter was still banning everybody as people were going through those batches of emails that were online but after about an hour, the links were taken down. Yeah, okay, maybe that's what happened as well. Um, Maxi said he believes uh, the U.S. government was hunting down files from a laptop posted online and flagged them to the companies. Yep. There were five drop boxes, uh, two in the United States, one in New Zealand, two in the U.K., all the same drop boxes in which they t oh, tell us child pornography is shared around the globe point of order how would they know okay like this is just um information that's on hunter biden's laptop okay these are batches of emails that are there and they're trying to take it down for child pornography reasons what did they know beforehand anyways anyways it's shared around the globe without any consequences because they can't look at it yeah again if you want ugh, gross um but if you're actually looking to take down child pornography online you gotta attack Twitter and Facebook, the two biggest purveyors of it online, and it's not even fucking close. There are all 5 I countries, uh, English-speaking countries, in an intelligence-sharing agreement, and they were all ripped down. This should terrify every single decent person in the West. Yeah, but uh, it's just, uh, you know, ad hominem attacks, okay? It's just the uh, compromising pictures of Hunter, like, with a crack pipe. We're breaking down a business dealing where it's uh, to hold 10% for the big guy. It's nothing that you should be really looking looking at okay don't worry about it it's all fine eventually at one point or another this laptop is going to receive a full investigation and maybe not within my lifetime or not when anybody is alive to for any of these actions to be well actionable maybe there'll be an investigation maybe there'll be some kind of fucking discovery on this and we'll get to the bottom as to how deep the corruption well runs for the biden family and it's fucking deep and it's fucking wet perfect analogy because that's also how hunting sees a lot of his cousins. With all that said, I thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.